Different intro today. We want to show you guys a couple builds that we've done on the Valgiro map on previous servers. These were actually done by good friends of ours, Otto, Goat, and Taru. This first one is by Goat, a little Skyrim, Lord of the Rings inspired, amazing build, like a whole little town, horses, you name it. This one's a full scale castle uh, with all kinds of stuff on the inside. I can't wait to show you guys these. They're in videos linked down below in the description. Also, check the first comment that'll be linked down below. Hey, definitely go check these videos out. I really enjoyed these builds. What's going on guys, TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're jumping back into Vanilla Valgaro today. We're jumping back two days in a row on Valgaro because I want to get a couple things done on the server. Plus, I want to be honest, the last day or so we've been doing nothing but rolling around on the roll rats. We're going to do that a little bit more today. We were just having a lot of fun with it. But we stopped over here at Old Town. This is Goat Space. If you guys seen any of my previous playthroughs, Goat is one of the best builders I've played with. He has all these amazing builds on every map we go to. Uh, he ends up jumping in and just making these really cool builds. And he didn't even get a chance to finish this one. I uh, kind of moved on to Crystal Isles a little too soon. But he's got this really cool farm down here. I'll show you a bird's eye view first. Let me let me fly up above and show you this. Because it is definitely worth checking out. It's this really cool ruins. I guess I should show you the grid, right? 82, 87. If you look on the map, it's way in the bottom right of the map. Way over here. Really cool spot. All right, let me kind of show you. So there's this really great ruins area up here, and he built into the ruins. How amazing is this? He's got a couple of structures up here. It's just really cool. This was a really awesome spot. I remember flying through here a couple times uh, early on in the playthrough and thinking this would be cool to kind of hang out in and play in a little bit. And he definitely took it over and made it into a thing for him. Very, very, very cool. Check this all out, man. That is very cool. Definitely one of the cooler spots. Look at this. You can make so many things here. If you could build on all these spots, you could definitely make some really cool things. I don't even think I highlighted this in my top build places, but this is really cool. All right, let me show you the rest of this because it's just a really cool base spot. So this is where you teleport into, right over here. Show you this real quick. All right. Oh, before we forget, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below, all that kind of stuff. We definitely appreciate it. All right, let's go check this place out. So he's got this boarded off over here so like some of the little creatures don't come cruising in over here i didn't say anything bad but there might occasionally be like raptors probably this looks like a raptor area uh in here looks like he's got his breeding area let's see what we got going in here therizinos i know he's got a therizino program that's pretty amazing oh my god he's got oh whoa 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 <laughs> oh man daydons therizinos like crazy we might need to turn his things off of breed for him i bet they're still breeding over there aren't they Oh my god, look at the colors. Oh! Oh, goat, I'm still in one one Daedon, man. I'm going to have to steal a baby Daedon. Look at these guys. They got the amazing blue. Huge, huge fan. Uh, in fact, uh, kind of a sneak, sneak thing here. Very, very soon, I will have a new logo on the channel, and these are the colors that we're going with. It's, it's always been kind of the color of the channel, but it's going to be even more so now. Let's get all these guys off of mating real quick. I don't think he's been on here in a while. He's got quite a few babies over there. Mass breeding for real. All right. Thank goodness for all those soul stations. Disable. All right. Make sure all these guys are off real quick. Oh, no, no, no. Disable. My bad. Did it twice. There we go. And then, oh, no. These guys are doing the same things. And now there's extra babies down below. Oh, my. Okay. We're just going to ball these up. I have 32. Is this going to be enough? There we go. Let's do it. Look at all these little babies. Oh, no. Goat, you got problems. <laughs> mayday, mayday. I'm going to send him a picture of this. Hold on. I got to get a, a screenshot of this for him. Oh, there they go. Now they're getting picked up. <laughs> there we go. They were just a little too far away to get picked up, it looks like. There we go. Oh, my God. Look at all these babies. <laughs> this is so great. And they've been out for a minute. Look, they're, they look like they're getting kind of big. Well, I guess we're going to grab two Therizinos, too, for the actual boss fight. Let's do that. There we go. All right. Any more hiding over here? Hopefully there's none under the ground where I can't see them. But there you go. Uh, this happens a lot on this server. This is the most uh, high-volume breeding server I've ever been on. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, let's get our thing back up. There's 177 there. Let's put all of them in here. So we'll go Therry. 
So I'm going to borrow two of them, and then we're going to send the rest back. There we go. Very, very nice. And then what else does he have over here? We got an Ice Wyvern. Nice. A couple of Deinonychus. More Theries. More Theries. More Theries. All right, Goat, you have somewhere around 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, about 1,100 Therizinos. I think you're good on Therizinos. This is a little breeding house. It's good we came over here. Uh, sometimes if you got crazy stuff like that going on, it can really, really mess the server up. I've definitely crashed my fair of servers back on the Xbox days. Uh, we had a Dodo, uh, it's called a Dodo Apocalypse, I think is what we called it back in the day. Definitely a big, big problem. All right, so that's his little breeding house. What do we got over here? Check this out. Um, oh, there's Goat. What's up, Goat? He got some really cool armor. He's got a couple Rexes on him. He's always doing cool stuff. Uh, some of his crafting stuff over here, and he built into the ruins as usual. He's got some more stuff upstairs. Very cool. Oh, this is the different Eco stuff. You know, I haven't messed with the Eco stuff on this server. We got the Eco RP stuff installed, and it's a lot of fun, and I just really didn't really mess with it. But really cool. All right, let's jump down here. You can see his Therizina. Look at those guys, man. Amazing colors on these guys. Super jealous. But it's okay because we just stole two. Uh, he's got his Spinos. Look at that. That is cool looking. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on. Can I get both of them in? There we go. I love it. Very, very cool. Now we come into the little main area here. Cool little base. Built once again in the ruins. Kind of the same thing. More Therizinos over here. You guys aren't breeding, are you? Tell me you're not breeding. Okay. <laughs> I was like, if we find more. Oh, my God. Look at his, his Equus. Oh, he's got reds. He's got blues. Oh, man. Teru and M. I hope you guys saw this. This is amazing over here. That looks like a Teru one. Teru, you might need to come steal that. <laughs> All right. Let's go look inside here. Oh, look at that guy. This is his main Daedon. Those guys are great looking. All right. Up here. Oh, just the roof area? Okay. And this is like a castle look without any castle mods. We don't have the castles and keeps on this server, even though it looks like he did, because just the way he built it. It looks really good. So good. All right, got a wyvern up here. Wyvern over there. That is cool. We need to actually get a better view of those wyverns. Let's do this. What is that? Hold on. That's an, a blue griffin, too. I'm leaning over in my chair like that helps me see down there. That is awesome. Look at that. Okay, we need a better screenshot from like up high of this place. This is a really cool place. Good job, Goat. So we'll move on and do some more things. I just I like to try to now start checking out some of the builds. I think most people are kind of done with what they're going to get done on the base um, or most of their bases. There might be still a couple people building some really cool things on the server, but for the most part, a lot of people have moved on to the next thing. There we go. Look at that. That place is really cool. I like that a lot. All right, let's get our stuff back. All right, now I need my roll rat. This is what we've been doing. We've been just r rolling around on the roll rat, just having a little bit of fun. And we're going to go tame up a couple things today. I've got two more things that I've got planned out that we want to tame up that we haven't had a chance to tame just yet. And it's going to be a little bit of fun. Hopefully, it won't be too much of a disaster. Let's send you back to the base. Let's get our roll rat out. We've also got a few more generations of the rhinos, and we probably should take the rhino out and level and test those guys a little bit, but we'll do that later. All right, we need melee. Now, I wanted to, I was wondering if melee adjusts how much damage he does when he actually does his roll. Oh, I can't. Get out of the way, man. Get out of the way. Okay, that was weird. He just, like, disappeared, at least on my screen, did. Oh, uh, aloes. Oh, in the, oh, oh, nope. Okay. Oh, oh, good. We're down here with the Deinonychus. This is where we want to be. <laughs> I can't see anything. All right. Uh, note to self. Don't have the spyglass up when you do that because the spyglass zooms. All right. Here we go. We're off. Wow. Goat was right next to a really good Deinonychus area too. Let's see if we can head out this way. All right. A little bit of jump action. This is so much fun. Look at this. There's all the Deinonychus eggs. I swear when I was looking for them, I could never find all these little spots. There we go. 
No, don't don't hit the water. Don't hit the water. No. Ah. Oh. These guys, man, the water is their kryptonite, so just it's not working. <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely are not good at driving this, but it makes it a lot of fun. But we gotta get practiced up that way we can race somebody else with these. The Roll Rat Racing Championship. Look at that. You can get some speed going with these guys too. Do you take fall damage? No fall damage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, man, I wish you wouldn't get demonetized for playing Sonic the Hedgehog music, but it definitely would be awesome. <laughs> there we go. So amazing. Oh, did we make that guy mad? He looks like he's running after like he's mad. Must have smashed his stuff. All right. Hold on. Let's get our stamina back up. We'll roll one more time, and then we're going to go after this stuff. I just wanted to have more fun with this guy. I'm such a big fan of this one. This might be my favorite dino currently, just right now, for at least the next two minutes. <laughs> it doesn't last long. We get distracted way too often for anything to be our favorite for very long. All right, go back up here. Super jumps. Where are we going? We don't even know. But look, there's a pathway. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. We're rolling, man. Look at this. This has got to be a record. There we go. I don't even know where we're going. Oh, it went so long. Good job, man. All right. Let's go ahead and send you back. You are amazing. Uh, actually, you know what? We wanted to soul ball him up because we're going to let him get, gain some passive levels. There we go. And we got a couple more of those breeding back at the base right now, so that'll be good to go. All right. Let's get Bomber back over here, and then we're going to fly to the next spot. We just want to waste a little bit of time, have a little bit of fun. It's about that sometimes. All right. I'll see you guys in just a few minutes when we're at our target. All right, well, we were going to tame this guy right here, but uh, it's not working out too well. These hyena dons are just wrecking him. He's holding his own a little bit. I was trying to get in there and help him, but I can't really do it without hurting the Kentro. Ow. Wait, are you mad at us now? No, he's okay. He's chasing the hyena dons. <laughs> I think you're going to make it, man. There we go. What do we got here? What is this? A 95. Nope. All right, what do we got else over here? Oh my god, is that a Giga down there? Okay. Of course we came to the spot where the Giga is. Oh, I missed. I'm trying to grab a hold of this uh, this last one. Oh, missed him again. We're super bad at grabbing things. I don't know why. Always struggle with it. Alright, hold on. We got some water. We got some water. Alright, let's try this one more again. Ow. Cannot get a hold of these guys. Oh, they're gonna kill the Kentro for sure. Come on. All right, we got one. What level are you? 95. Oh man, he is so bloody. Look at this guy. Oh, he's down to 100 health. I don't even know if I can do anything to him just yet. We're gonna have to let him heal up for a second. Okay, there is another one uh, in another part of the map. It's a 145, so not quite as good. This is right next to our griffin trap taming area. Kind of the middle of the map. We're about 30, 47-ish. Where was that Giga at that we just saw? I know we just saw a Giga. There it is. What's he doing down there? Level 25 Giga? Okay, not really worried about that. Not too worried. Yeah, this, this Kentro, man. I don't think we can tame him with that low a health. How quick does your health go up? That's going pretty quick. It's going pretty quick. We need like some heal darts, but let's do this. We're going to go on to the next guy because there is another one at 2681. We're going to go look for that guy. Let's go like this. Oh, no, wrong one. Hold on. Like this. Like this. We're looking at 2680-ish. Uh, oh, out to, out to my base. Okay. <laughs> to the plaza. To the plaza. All right. And then we need to go this way just a little and this way just a lot. To 81. Actually, it's not too far. Like, right over this little mountain, we should be there. Oh, man. We were also... I was hoping to do a Quetzal, but thanks to you guys saving me the trouble for it, I was going to try doing the taming of a Quetzal using the rare flowers. But apparently, rare flowers do not work on the Quetzal. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it out still because science, but uh, we're definitely not going to get all prepped up for it and try it out. Oh, sorry. Focus. Keep going. Not quite there yet. Oh my god, why are the Kentros always in bad fights? Hold on. Can I get this? Can I pick them off? Come on. 
There we go. Carno dead. Oh, same thing, man. They're battling a bunch of hyena dons. Oh, that was a 140 hyena done. I kind of want to tame him. Dang it. All right, hold on. We can do this. We can save the day. Oh, come on. Get your gun out. Come on, dude. There we go. Let's knock out, knock out the scorpions real quick. There we go. One down. We're not even trying to tame him. I just want to knock him out. There we go. All right, one more. There we go. All right, saving the day. His health is also very, very low. Uh, he needs regular kibble, which I'm sure I didn't bring on me. Kibble. Oh, wow, I have no kibble. It must all went bad. Dang. Okay. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, he's going to go out quick because he's busy fighting this scorpion. This is perfect. That's what I'm talking about. We're not even going to get hit by this guy. What a great day. All right, so all we need is just regular kibble for that. That I can get a hold of. Um, I almost want to do some of that, but I get, since he got hit, I won't tame him. All right, we're right next to base. But I don't want to lose where the other guy was. So I'm going to go like this. We're going to go... Oh, man. Hmm. We're pretty close. Where are we at? 25, 81. We can come back here. We can come back here. I won't lose it. I won't lose it. I won't forget. I promise. I don't know that I can make any more kibble. I'm completely out of jerky again. Uh, so I don't know if we can make regular kibble or not. Is it something I can look at? Let's see. Kibble. No. It's just something that you just have. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's go over here. We'll test to see if we can make it real quick. Hopefully no no breaks and all. We'll just go straight there, grab it, come back. That's not usually how it works, though. All right. Wait for the base to build in. It's always so funny when you first fly in. You think your base got destroyed. Look at all that. Look at that. Looks like it got destroyed, right? Because you got all the, the stuff from the bulb dogs. <laughs> Looks like it's about to rain or something like that. It's not nighttime yet, is it? No, it's not even lunchtime. We're about to get some kind of weather come in. All right, let's go in here. Okay, fingers crossed. All right, where? Kibble, over here. And then we'll go consumable, crafted, regular. All right, for that we need, oh dang, we need the cooked jerky. Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, unless we can go to O-Dog Bla Blaze. O-Dog's base. We are struggling with words today. It's late at night. We're getting tired. All right, let's go get our, uh, we just, we want to get some recording done today because I don't know if I'd have another chance to do it later this week. Uh, let's see, O-Dog. All right, fingers crossed. O-Dog, MVP of the season. Saved us so many times. Really, everyone on the server has been the MVP. We've gotten so many things from everybody on the server everyone's either donated a dino or uh, if nothing else they made fun of us when we struggled let's see regular nothing nothing okay what else do you have we need to refill your kibble i owe you so much kibble all right <laughs> what else you got over here you got so much stuff saddles ooh calicotherium mantis lamantria mantis i'm gonna take that actually uh sarco mantis Sarko and Packy Rhino. I haven't tamed one of those actually. All right, was that it? Let's see, saddle blueprints. Very nice. Very cool, man. Oh, dog. Seriously, thank you. Didn't have that last bit of kibble, but that's just because I've stolen it so many times. All right, let's go over here. Oh, look at your farm. Look at this place. I like it a lot. I almost. I was thinking I could go in there. I forgot we're not in the same tribe. All right, let's go back over there. All right. Kibble won't work. Let me see what their backup food is. Probably base veggies. I definitely have a million of that. We'll grab that, and then we'll head back over there. Okay, don't know how long it's going to take. It's been a while since I've made some, but I've got a whole bunch going on in the preserving bin once again. So that will be good to go. We won't have to worry about that again. I can't believe we didn't have more. We just kind of forgot. We've been so busy out taming and killing things, we kind of forget to do the little things. All right, let's get ourselves some water. I need to fill up our canteen. Bam, canteen full. All right, super amazing. Let's grab some veggies and let's roll back out. And the dung beetle's been doing amazing things. I know it was a long time ago that we named this one. Oh, we didn't name it. Hold on. Oh, we got two names to give out. Hold on. So TDFG. Don't ask me why this is the name. Uh, it's something that Otto and True started doing, and we've stuck with it ever since then. Uh, it's Fergie the dung beetle. <laughs> so I don't really know why. All right. And then we need to go ahead and name our roll rat. I can't believe we didn't name it already. 
And this was the most obvious name. Obvious, obviously, you have to go with this one. Thanks in the comments for giving us this name. It is... We'll go TBFG Splinter. Bam. How could it not be Splinter, right? There you go. Good job. All right. Let's get our bird back out. And let's go. Oh, he's already over here. All right. Back to the Kentro. Hopefully, he's good to go. Really want to get this guy up and then go back and attempt to tame the other one. We'll have two Kentros. And I think they can go into the boss fight and if so those will be two more entries into our boss fight of dinos that don't normally go to boss fights we're probably going to lose horribly but we have to try it out one time so this is the plan for the boss fights as we're flying over here we'll talk about it real quick we're going to do boss fights with our guys which is just a bunch of the guys that like why in the, wor why in the world would you bring this guy to the boss fight and there it is and then we're going to use uh we're going to go with taru with all of her aloes. She's gonna take a bunch of aloes to a boss fight and we're gonna see how the aloes do. So we're gonna do a couple different boss fights and then I have a bunch of like Rexes and Spinos that will actually do the boss fight later if it doesn't work out. I say if it doesn't work out. Oh my God, that's 41. Oh man, okay, that's gonna take a while. 41, base veggies. So, looks like we're gonna sit it and forget it. That is a lot, oh man, okay. Just in case, let's get some berries on it, just in case. All right. Okay, grab us some berries. We'll go back and we'll try to get this other one knocked out, and then we'll leave it to tame too. But I don't think we're going to get it up today. So you know what? That's fine. This gives us an opportunity to take our rhino out and tame him, uh, not tame him up, to level him up just a little bit. All right, so let's go like that, like that. Just a couple extras, just in case. I don't think his torpor is going to drop too fast. I think we, I think we should be okay. Alright, I do, though, want to get rid of this guy. If these guys wake up, that would be a big bummer. There we go. Want to make sure I wasn't hitting the Kentro on accident. There we go. I would be so bummed if those guys woke up and ate him while we were all across the map doing things. Alright, so the other ones right next to our Griffin Trap. There we go. We'll knock this other guy out and we'll be good to go. Alright, I know it's this area. Is it you right here? No. Hold on. I'm a little turned around here. Oh, we got a couple more up there, though. Get out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> RG fights are always funny in the air. You just can't quite turn fast enough. Man, I know I was down here. So is it him right there? There he is. He has not tamed up much. How much damage do we do when we shoot? Oh, let's find out. All right, that guy's way over there. Oh, man, I'm worried this is going to do too much damage. Fingers crossed. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, I can't shoot him again, guys. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, get away. <laughs> He was about to heal up by eating us. I, well, I mean, I guess they don't eat us, right? All right. That's not going to happen just yet, guys. I would love to get a hyena done, too. Ooh, uh, 145. I could definitely see myself taming a couple hyena dons. That'd be a little bit of fun. But, all right, guys, let me go back. We'll leave that Kentro alone for a while. Maybe we can get him in the next episode. Maybe it'll maybe be a while before we actually go back. What is this? What in the world? is? It, oh, I thought it was like a, a full-on cave that I didn't know about. Okay, anyway, like I said, <laughs> let me go uh, drop this guy off somewhere where I can possibly tame him up. And then we might look for another Kentro, but since they're going to take so long, I think I'm going to wait till the next episode to try to tame up another one. But I think they'd be good additions to the boss fight. And then the Hyena Dom just be just for fun. We'll do that in the middle sometime. But, all right, I'll see you guys in just a minute with the Rhino Saddle, and we'll take our Rhino out and level him up just a little bit. All right, guys, we've done a little bit of leveling on this guy. I don't want to level health too much because then our thing will be all red but we'll wait until we get a second or third generation to do that but not too bad we're already up to 243 if you guys have a name for this guy definitely leave in the comments down below look at that damage though if you get full speed he's doing some things he's definitely doing some good damage look at this bam oh no we got stuck <laughs> but we did just a little bit of leveling and his damage is getting better and better uh big fights i had a little bit of trouble with an uh an aloe group so this is actually our second rhino that we brought out I mean, because the other one was getting really low health-wise, but not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. All right.
take these guys out. Oh, look at that, 5,000. We need some more levels. So I think now we're good to go take on something a little bit bigger. So let's go down. Right, here we go. Right, Aloe fight again. I had trouble with these guys last time. But I already got wasn't doing this much damage, though. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. <laughs> we're good to go, man. We are good to go. But now XP is coming so slow. I don't even know. How many total levels do you have? Can I see you? No. Hold on. You have... I'm trying to look here. 18 into damage and 8 into stamina. So not that many. You shouldn't be that slow. Oh, there we go. We got a level. We got two levels. Nice. I just want all melee. All melee all the time. It's too bad they don't harvest, though. I mean, I, obviously rhinos wouldn't harvest because they're, you know, on the plant eater side. But uh, I'm used to playing modded where the, the rhinos do. There we go. 6,000. Oh, my goodness. This guy's going to be a beast. I kind of want to put stuff into damage and nothing else. Now, I can't wait until we get one of the baby ones that grows up with full imprinting because then we'll get that nice speed bonus. Oh, careful. Don't take too much damage. But we'll get that nice speed bonus, and then we'll be able to get through this even faster. And I don't know if speed affects damage. Let's find out. Let's find out. What kind of damage are we doing now? Let's go visit a friend. Here we go. Rhino up here by himself. Or not Rhino, uh, Talon. So 64. All right, we got a level. If I pump speed, will my will it go up any more because I'm going faster? I don't think that's how it works, but we must test for science. All right. Now, it's not like I remember what the last damage was. I think it was 6,400. Now I don't remember. Let's find out. Here we go. Here we go. Ramming speed. Okay, no. Answer was no. But I got more speed. That's not a bad thing. We can go around and smash more things faster. Fasterly. All right. Almost done, guys. Let's let's get a couple more shots in here, and then we'll probably call it good. I'll probably have to go take out some Rexes. Uh, honestly, near my base is probably the best place to do that. Let's take these guys out. Get out of here. Look at We saved you, Anki. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. We're not good at this whole saving thing. All right. Here we go. 42. Little Trudon guys. Here we go. Ramming speed. Oh, I was trying to get to the... There's a Carno guy. There we go. Very, very nice. I've never been up here. Uh, we had meant to come over here a few times. In fact, I want to say someone was going to start a base build up here. And then I think they, no one ever got started on it. Oh, bear. Bear stomped that Carno. Whose base is this? Oh, it's an adventurer base. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, man, I didn't want to say it, but you're getting kind of fat. Look at that. Now someone's biting on your butt because you can't get in the door. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Whose base is this? This is awesome. Uh, goat Outpost. Oh, man. Goat. Okay. That's why Goat wasn't done in the other place. He's building everywhere. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I'm jealous. Look at that. That looks amazing. He's got a little castle built in here into the sides. Oh man, so this is the goat episode. That's what it is. Kendro fail, but goat episode. That's what we're looking at here. Oh my god, I'm in love with this. This is so cool. Uh, I, you know what? I'm going to put it down in the description below. If you guys want to see the best castle ever built on Valgiro, I'm, I know that sounds a little crazy. The best castle built and then the best overall build on Valgiro. Two of my favorites in any video. Like, I would put these two up against some of the biggest and best builders in all of Ark. I'm going to link you down to Otto, Goat, and Teru did some building on the previous Valgiro server. And I want to show you guys that. So it's going to be in the description, and I'll put it in the first link. It's going to be the link to... Uh, Otto's castle, which all three of them worked on, and it's going to be the link to Goat's little uh, Skyrim Lord of the Rings little build over there. I wish I knew which one. I'm, I'm, my, my, my nerd is struggling today, uh, but definitely want to show you those. I'm going to end the episode there, but I'm going to put those in the first link. Go check those out. Two of my favorite builds that I've ever got to visit on any server, uh, and we put those in a whole bunch of different discords and showed pictures to people, and everyone was impressed, so definitely check it out. Uh, no, Obviously, there's other people that spend way, way more time on their builds and get to do some of the interior stuff that we didn't get a chance to, but Go even did a lot of that on his. So, uh, man, yeah, definitely go check him out. Super proud to be able to play on the server with these people. They're all super amazing. Uh, on the Crystal Isle server, I'm going to show you some really cool builds real soon, too. Uh, between Auto, Goat, Taru, Heatsink, O-Dog, M, uh, 
I'm leaving names out, not because I, not because you guys aren't amazing, just like I'm. Uh, there's so many cool builds on that server. I can't wait to show you guys that the, the patrons can do some things, man. All right. I've rambled on long enough. You guys have a great day. I will see you in the next episode of ARK Survival Evolved. We're forgetting the outro. Uh, Vanilla Valguero. There we go. I knew I'd do it. Nailed it first time.